Thailand is a beautiful country and one that has a fascinating culture. And that Thai culture is heavily influenced by Buddhism, a religion that offers a practical path of human growth, ultimately towards enlightenment. So when Microband on Ammo sent me one of their GMT watches, the design of which was heavily influenced by the Microband owner's experience of Thailand and Buddhism, I couldn't wait to take a closer look. Today, we're taking the micro lens to the Namo GMT to pinpoint exactly where that passion of Thailand and the Buddhist culture has influenced this watch. And stick around as I take the Namo GMT to Brimham Rocks of Nidderdale and Bolton Abbey in the lovely Yorkshire Dales. As ever, it's great to have you here. But before we do anything else, here's the watcher's spec in 90 seconds. So this is the Namo GMT, and the first influence of the microbrand owner's experience of Thailand and Buddhism on this watch is the name, which means May My Worship To, and originated from the first word of a Thai prayer, which shows respect to Buddha. The prayer, translated to English, is Honour to the Blessed One, the Exalted One, and the Fully Enlightened One. And that brand name, Namo, sits here perfectly underneath the second influence, which is the logo, and really takes precedence over the brand name here under 12 o'clock. The symbol is that of a unilome, which depicts the path of enlightenment and is seen frequently throughout Buddhist culture. And the Namo GMT will be launched via Kickstarter, and whilst no formal date has yet been set, check out their website and social for updates, and links are in the description. As mentioned in the 90 second spec, the case is Swiss made 316L stainless steel, is 12.5 millimeters thick, 41.5 millimeters in diameter, and 47 millimeters lug to lug, and 22 millimeters at the lug, with this bracelet tapering down to 20 millimeters at the fully milled deployment clasp, which is where the third influence of the microbrand owner's experience of Thailand and Buddhism can also be found. The clasp is signed with a Namo brand name and the Unilo logo, and those dimensions of the watch typically sit very nicely on my seven and a half inch wrist especially with these female end links, which means that the bracelet drops nicely around my wrist. It has a nice weight too, coming in at 169 grams. It features a custom stamp engraved case back, which is where the fourth influence can be found. The case back showcases a very detailed portrayal of Hanuman, the king of the monkeys, and that embossed image is highly polished so that it really does stand out against the matte finish of the background. Hanuman is portrayed very frequently in Buddhist and Hindu culture as a warrior and guardian, and here he is looking pretty mean. Going back to that case, and that 316L stainless steel consists of mainly brushed finishes with high polish around the edge of the bezel and the internal crown. The watch's case design is on the unusual side and has been in development for two years. 
The external bezel and the city markers on this rear are actually moved together, meaning that there wasn't a need for a second crown. And that bezel is a 120 click bio-directional bezel, meaning you can move it clockwise and anti-clockwise. It does have an internal crown here at the four o'clock position, which locks the bezel and the rear together, meaning that it can ensure water resistance and actually water resistance up to 100 meters. The whole design is really unique and due to that intricate design of this case, it was actually made in Switzerland and that detail isn't marked on the dial of this prototype but will be in final production. As you can see, it has those named time zones on that world timer rear that technically speaking should make this overall dial feel somewhat busy, but I personally don't think that it does. Although the named time zone sits under this double dome sapphire crystal which by the way has an inner anti-reflective coating in this slope riot it is very much part of the bezel and slopes in at a nice deep angle towards that chapter ring around the dial which is in blue from nine o'clock to three o'clock and white from three to nine but also sports a traditional 24-hour gmt track and that chapter ring really separates these applied indices from that world timer riot rather nicely in my opinion anyway and towards the center, we have a clean black dial. However, a sunburst gray and royal blue will also be available if you want some further depth to that dial. The hands are nice and slim, not overcomplicated pencil hands that feature a small point at the end, which actually I rather like. The loom is decent too. It's a BGW9 loom within the applied hour markers, hands and 24 hour track. The push-pull crown, which is protected by these rather stocky crown guards, sports the fifth influence of Thailand and Buddhism. As you can see, the Unalom logo is engraved on the crown. When you pull the crown, a clockwise turn will change the date, whereas an anti-clockwise turn will adjust this blue GMT hand. And the second pop-out of that crown adjusts the time, and it adjusts rather nicely, I must say. So there you have it, five big influences of Thailand and Buddhism incorporated into the design of this watch. But also, those named time zones really give this watch a traveling and explorer vibe so much more than a traditional GMT watch. When it launches on Kickstarter, the price will be 230 UK pounds sterling. That's approximately $285 or 257 euros as of the 1st of February 2023. But there will be super early bird rates of 210 pounds, that's approximately $255 or 235 euros, and will retail at 289.99 pounds, $356 or approximately 323 euros. But definitely keep a lookout for that launch date because that super early bird rate is without a doubt worth a punt for a very unique GMT watch, nicely designed with a decent spec too. And as ever, with a micro brand, you're buying into a story, buying into something that has been hugely influenced by something special. And those influences have been really well incorporated into this very unique GMT watch. Good morning, Namo GMT. We're off now. See you later. Yeah. 
facts about Nintendo. Very sad. That Arkham Nintendo can say that about Green Green Trash! Blue Blue Trash! You bet! Whatever it is. How slow does Rock King work yeah. on this side of the No way, saber-toothed tiger. Uh, a dodo. Dodo recently went extinct. No way. And we are 